Welcome to the Amazing Car News Channel. After driving nearly every car for sale over the last 20 years, it's natural for the cars of the past to enter into your thoughts when driving something new. Humans compare experiences to gain perspective, which explains why we were daydreaming about Rolls Royces while driving Mercedes-Benz's new electric luxury four-door, the EQS 450+. Like a Rolls Royce Phantom, the EQS is a capsule of luxury and silence that pours itself down the road with unerring grace. Unlike a hard-to-swallow Rolls, the EQS looks like an Advil liquid gel. It's a lozenge of a car with what Mercedes claims is the lowest drag coefficient, 0.20, of any car on sale. That slick bod whips through the air, barely disturbing it, and leads to near silence at extra-legal highway speeds. The 107.8-KWH battery sandwiched in the floor also helps keep road noise to a minimum. That big battery also allows the EQS 450 Plus to go an estimated 350 miles between charges. While that range bests the other German electrics, Lucid and Tesla both have models that far surpass that number. Find a level 3 DC hookup and the EQS can go from 10% charge to 80% in 31 minutes. On a typical level 2 setup, the EQS take just over 11 hours to go from 10% to 100%. Moving the electrons around in the battery is a single motor driving the rear wheels that makes 329 horsepower and 419 pound-feet of torque. It's not nearly as quick as the 516 HP EQS 580, but it'll shove you into the massaging seats. After the initial thrust from a stop the acceleration tapers off, but 60 miles per hour is yours in a claimed 5.9 seconds. In more relaxed driving, the right now torque affords the EQS the same sort of effortless waftability that Rolls-Royce has been touting for decades, yet what really reminds us of the spirit of ecstasy is the suppleness and silence of the suspension as it glides over the tarmac. Not much of the outside permeates the EQS's cocoon. The long 126.4-inch wheelbase certainly helps attenuate bumps, but it's the tuning of the standard air spring suspension that maintains the serenity despite our test car's 21-inch wheels wrapped in Goodyear summer rubber. Those sticky tires provide excellent grip despite the Benz's estimated 5,600 pound curb weight. Press it hard into a corner and it remains flat, and the low center of gravity born of the massive battery in the floor seemingly drills the car into the center of the earth. Steering efforts are light and don't pick up much even in sport mode, but the easy efforts help mask the heft and size of this S-Class sized hatchback. Four-wheel steering turns the rear wheels up to 10 degrees in opposition of the fronts at low speeds, helping to shrink the turning circle to 35.7 feet, making this very big Benz feel like an A-Class. There's an ease and luxury to the whole driving experience, that is only interrupted by the brakes. Hitting the brakes in the EQS starts with energy regeneration from the motors and then blends in the stopping power of the four massive brake rotors. Stepping into the brake pedal is an initially mushy experience that doesn't slow the car much. Thank for watching.